Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another um, sub Q kata. We are going to solve this with JavaScript, which is about uh, getting the integers between two numbers. <coughs> build, uh, let's try to read the question. Um, build a function that uh, can get all the integers between two given numbers. We have like two and nine. So all the numbers between two and nine is three to eight. So this is our lower limit and this is our upper limit. I think our function takes in uh, the start number and the end number. Um, so there are many ways we can do this, but we can start with, um, <coughs> we can do a while loop. Like, um, let's say this is my array, that is empty. And uh, I'm going to have my loop, my looping variable that's going to start at um, start num plus one, because as we can see here, uh, it's two to nine, but it starts at three to eight, so it doesn't end at, uh, it doesn't uh, include the boundary. That's why I say plus one here. <coughs> So why the loop variable is less than the n number? Um, what can we do? We are going to be looping and incrementing. So inside the loop variable, we are going to be adding plus one. And before adding plus one, we are going to construct our array. That's inside the array, we are going to push the loop variable and then we increment it. At the end of this loop, we should be having our array. Let's return the array. And uh, in fact, let's console the log to see. Let's test the code. So here we're expecting, um, I said we have three to eight and that's pretty much what we're expecting. Here we have seven and we were expecting seven. So I think it's safe to say we can return the code. Let's return, I can remove the parentheses. That's it. We can also use, um, a for loop for this um there are many approaches so um tell me what you you feel like in the comment section and uh don't forget to subscribe for more algorithms as this as we progress in the coming days and uh i can submit the solution so that we can have um a clue of what other people have done let's submit Now this is the for loop approach. So it starts from um, so the looping variable here is i. It starts from start plus one just like we did, and it ends at uh, n num. So it's pretty pretty much the same algorithm. It also has um, an empty uh, array to be pushing inside, and at the end we return. So that's it. Now this is uh let's say more or less advanced you see there are many approaches for this so guys see you on another video thanks for watching